Punctum is a, an exhibition about photography. It's about the nature of photography. It's asking even kind of ontological questions about photography and its nature. And it stems from uh, these questions that are being asked in a book called Camera Lucida by Roland Barthes, in German it's the Helle Kammer. And uh, in this book, one of the terms that Barthes uses is punctum. And he uses this as a linguistic device uh, to try and enter into photography in a sort of philosophical and phenomenological way, but also in a very personal way. So although the book is quite complex, it's also very, very readable and it's a very pleasant literary experience and it has a beautiful relationship to, phot ph to photography. A lot of photographers don't actually accept the book, but at the same time, in art school, I think it's been a very grounding uh, piece of literature for looking at art and looking at photography. But the idea of punctum uh, is something that invited 50 people to, to investigate themselves personally uh, from the standpoint of where we are today with photography and what, what does photography mean now nearly 35 years after this book was published and you know the selection is really wonderfully surprising you know I, I had a little bit of a hand in, in how that was developed but mostly I see it as a collaborative project where everyone is choosing something for them that has this element of punctum to it and uh, the people are artists and photographers but also curators and, and writers um, some of whom don't really have a relationship to photography and many of whom do. So I wanted it to be as uh, thorough as possible in one sense, but at the same time we're always understanding that it's an impossible quest, so to speak, you know, so it's a bit of a poetic quest. And um, yeah, the, the results are, are pleasantly surprising from photographs behind me by Willie Doherty, for example, that was chosen by Duncan Campbell, an Irish artist, or uh, Alison Rosita, an American photographer who, this is actually expired photo paper that's been uh, developed 30 years after it's expired, so it's not like an homage to photography and analog photography itself, um, to choices by Boris Groys, who uh, chose a photograph of, of a poet that he knew who is uh, soon going to die. And, in a way a very personal choice and then there even, there's even an installation in the exhibition and so I, I wanted the, the project to expand around the concept in, in many different ways and uh, hopefully it has done that with this selection. I wouldn't say there'd be any specific kind of criteria. It was, it was more about, I think, some long relationships I've had with uh, colleagues in the fields, people who I respect, but there are also people who I had never met uh, or had contact with before. I wanted there to be a good selection, of course, from this region, so I invited a number of people from Salzburg and from Austria, uh, but it extends into Germany, into the UK, into Ireland, Canada, United States, uh, into Asia, India, um, you, you can't be completely, uh, you know, you can't get invite the entire world, unfortunately. But I wanted it to be representative uh, of some parts of the world. Um, but there was no criteria per se, it was more that I was curious about these people specifically, each of them individually, how they would respond to the project idea. And in thinking about that, I wanted to make sure that there was a broad range of people in their uh, relationship to photography, whether it's quite intense or maybe a little more withdrawn.
Well, it'd be a bit unfair to have a favorite, uh, but there are definitely a few where you, there are a few photographs that get very close to the sentiment in Barth's book. And one especially is a photograph by August Sander, which is over on that wall, which you, would, you could actually imagine it in the book. And there's a beautiful text written by Martin Herbert, who chose the photograph that accompanies it. But, but I also remember very um, wonderful surprises. And one of them I, I thought of immediately when you were asking me the question was Rabia More, who's a Lebanese artist. And he sent the photograph and, and the text at the same time. And I read, them, read the text and looked at the photo. And it was so overwhelmingly powerful and so emotional that it was something that it really brought uh, a joy to me that I had invited him. And you know, it's a, it's it's also a profound photograph because it's uh, a photo allegedly taken from a camera, like a, a, a telephone, ca a camera, mobile phone, mobile phone camera, uh, by a protester in Syria. And it's not clear if that protester is still alive or not. But someone found the phone and, and uploaded photos and videos from this phone. And the one that Rabia chose is one that is unclear what's in the photograph. It could be the sky, it could be the top of a building. It's so pixelated and poor in quality that we don't know what it actually is. But we know where it, where it came from. And then the text he wrote with that is just beautiful you know it's just it encapsulates something so profound and beautiful without um, naming any name so to speak you know without getting into any rhetoric it all speaks for itself so you know I would not have any favorites I, I, I look at them all in a, uh, with equal love <laughs> but those are two that I could think of that might answer your question Thank you.